everything you need for the senior workshop are going to be available for you on Moodle, and you've already been pre-enrolled by your advisor. So all you have to do is go to the Moodle website up here on the top, and you type in your username and password, just like you would log into the normal student computers using your ID and password. When you log in, you'll see all the classes you're enrolled in, so you should be looking for the one that says 12th grade. When you Once you're on to Moodle, you want to scroll down until you find today's date, which is November 18th. Um, you are currently watching the Using Naviance video, so you don't have to click on this again, obviously. But if you click down here where it says Student Naviance Login, that's where you want to go. Okay, so once you've clicked on the Naviance link that I just showed you, it's going to bring you to this page right here where you type in the exact same username and password that gets you onto the school computers and also onto Moodle. All right, here I am logged into Naviance as an actual senior whose name shall remain hidden just for privacy's sake. But what we're going to look at today are colleges. So there's two places where you can look. You can click on these two links here, or you can go to the Colleges tab. Now this one will help you search for colleges that you're thinking about. Once you've added them to your list, then they will show up in the colleges I'm applying to. So you can see this student, not only have they filled out the Common App, which is a great way to save time, and I can show you that in another video, but they have also applied to some individual colleges that don't accept the Common Application. So all these yeses are applications that are in the works already. So to find colleges, if you click right here on colleges I'm thinking about, and then in the search window type them in, it'll help you find them. So let's say, for example, you want to find the University of Minnesota. Up in the search window, just type in the full name of the university that you're looking for, and your results should appear. And then here they are. Now these are all the different possible campuses. So let's say that you want to go to University of Minnesota Twin Cities campus. Click on that, and it will take you to all the information for the University of Minnesota. Okay, so what we want to start doing today is applying to these colleges. So if this is one that you're interested in, you can go to their website very easily. Um, about us and uh, admissions right here will give you background information and then information on how to apply. So if you want to go to undergrad, which all of you will be doing since you'll be entering as freshmen, you just follow the application steps for each university that you search. After this video, I will show you some other places where you can get resources, but the goal for today is to start the actual application process for at least one university. 